you've seen a pretty cool desert iguana. I got a little bit of video footage of him. Uh, I tried getting a picture of him, so we'll see what we got when I get home and start editing. But yeah, it was pretty cool to see a desert iguana. I was not expecting to see him over here right now. So I'm right here with probably one of the most chillest desert spiny lizards I've ever found. He's just uh, all composed up, all dressed up in his breeding colors and just letting me take some photo photos of him. So he's just all relaxed, just letting me snap some photos of him. I got some video of him. But yeah, what a beautiful lizard. You can see the blues on his back and all the greens and blues underneath him as well. Yeah, what a really pretty lizard. I'm not even going to try to catch him. I'm just going to let him sit there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and move on because what a beautiful lizard and what a trusting lizard. So we found a pretty cool ornate tree lizard. I was able to capture some of the pictures uh, of the really cool blues and greens and oranges that they get underneath them. And um, they could be really pretty lizards. Like I said before, I really love their camo and stuff. But uh, without catching them, a lot of times you can't see the colors underneath them. And um, sometimes I just don't like catching, uh, catching these guys and just kind of leaving them be. And just the way they look, just look so beautiful where they are. Uh, so this guy gave me an opportunity to give me some pictures um, Kind of looking down at me so I could see it up underneath him and uh, you got some really pretty colors. I would definitely uh, Definitely feel like I got some good shots there I really enjoy photographing these ornate tree lizards over here in these different mountain ranges Like I said, they have a different color var variation and uh, sometimes you get some blues, sometimes you get some oranges, sometimes you get some just blacks. Uh, but yeah, like really beautiful lizards. But that's the reason I like photo photographing them in these different mountain ranges, just because you get just such a such a wide variety of different colors. Um, like it's, they're real, real common lizards, but they have a really unique beauty to them. And um, yep, I just really enjoy photographing them. So we found this really cool chuckwalla while walking this mountainside. This is one of the species I was looking for today, so I was pretty excited to find them. As you can see how they got that orange brownish tail right here, sometimes they got a really bright tail, and they, that's where they get the nickname Carrot Tails. But yeah, this is a common chuckwalla. Really cool looking lizard, look like little dinosaurs. They're one of the two native species of iguanas we have here in Arizona. But yeah, they look pretty cool, they look like little dinosaurs. I got some uh, good photos with, uh, of that guy. So I had, uh, I had that f-stop set at 11 at 400th of a second at uh, 200 ISO. That would get nice, clean, sharp photos. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move on and we're gonna leave this guy to his lunch. He's eating these leaves around here and uh, I don't wanna bother him any much longer. We've seen both native species of iguanas today, which is pretty cool. As you can see, the chuck walls really enjoy the mountainsides and the rocks and crevices where they can hide and they blend in really nicely with these dark rocks. And uh, the desert iguanas, they like the flat land where they could just run and run and they can get away from you run by running into a burrow. They tend to stay close to burrows for that reason. All right, we find our second chuck wall up. We're gonna try to get close to this guy. He's a big one too. They're really, really dark and they just, uh, they kind of stick out in these rocks a little bit. So you kind of see them far away sometimes. Sometimes they also blend in really well. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try to get close to this guy. Hopefully get a photo, get a little bit of footage, footage of him. I was uh, by this rock earlier and I didn't see anything, but it looks like he came out. So let's go try to get something. All right, this is what the chuck wallas do right here. This is how they kind of get away from uh, predators and whatnot. They'll wedge themselves into these rocks right here and they'll really inflate with air and they'll wedge themselves in there really good. I'm not sure if you can see that. They, they do that to get away from predators and they just wedge themselves in there. That way they can't get caught or eaten for lunch. Pretty weird, but really awesome strategy. So we found our third chuck wallow. This one looks to be a big female. We're gonna try to go up there and try to get a photo of it. But yeah, she's right there in that rock and she's a little high up there. I'm hoping she don't run away by the time I even get close. 
but yeah she's a real pretty female um yep she's just right up there on top of that rock so we're gonna try to get up there yeah so it looks like looks like this one got away from me so right before i got up about halfway up this little hill uh she, she went ahead and ran off and uh, i didn't see exactly where she ran off so i'm not gonna look for her i'm just gonna leave her alone so i don't want to stress her out and uh so if you do see a chuck wall and if it does run into a crevice or something and if you didn't spook it too bad you could just sit there by the crevice and they'll come out and they'll just sit right there they'll watch you but you get pretty close to them and you know perhaps get a good photo of them all right so please remember to subscribe like this video if you like it and as always stay tuned for more